I'm obsessed. I'm definitely feeling myself in this coat. Hey moms, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. For today's video, I mentioned to you that the stores are now open in Montreal, so I had to take you along with me thrift shopping, and I end up going to two different, I keep doing that, two, two different uh, thrift stores. So we're gonna start off with the thrift shopping portion, and then I'm gonna move my way into the haul part. I end up finding so many cool pieces. We're gonna jump right into the thrifting. Enjoy. <music>
right now I am outside my thrift store, the ones that I normally go to. And yesterday I actually brought you along with me to another place and it was sort of a warehouse where there's a little bit of antique stuff, also a mix of vintage and retro things. Prices were pretty reasonable and I found a few pieces that I'm gonna share with you. But next I'm going to go into this thrift store, take you guys along with me. I'm thinking of going in the home section first and then going into the accessories and the clothing and just take a little peek on that side as well just in case I see anything so we're gonna head in there see what treasures we can find let's do this
love it or you're gonna hate it. It is this amazing vase. There was just something about it that I loved. It had a mix between boho and retro and mid-century that I loved so much and I thought would still work perfectly in my home. And I just thought this was such a great piece to put on a dress, not a dresser, maybe a council table or um, yeah, maybe a dresser as well. I don't know, there was just something about it. I could not leave it there, I had to get it. I ended up paying this beauty $9.99, which is so good. I'm so happy I did. I just love all the gold detailing. It's not made out of wood, but it has wood detailing, sort of faux wood. Let me know if you actually like this piece. I tend to go towards the ugly cool pieces where no one would go towards those and I actually see something special in them. There was something so pretty about it. So I'm happy I got it. Moving on to my second piece. Here again, it's one of those pieces that you're either gonna love or hate, but I just fell in love with it. I thought it was very unique and different and it is this beautiful statue and it sort of looks like sand on it, the detail. I just thought it was so special. I think it would look perfect on a shelf. I love the color. This was another piece that I thought was very unique and really cool, and I'm so glad I got it. I ended up paying this $10 as well. Where can you find things like this? It's so impossible, unless you go thrift shopping, which you guys should definitely go thrift shopping. You find beautiful pieces like this. And moving on to my third piece. Again, I got a, I guess that's you can call it a vase, but I got this amazing piece here. You guys probably saw this in one of my previous videos, and it was when I did the whole Salty Crush try-on haul. I had put some palm leaves in it. I thought the color was beautiful, and I thought that the size was super cool too. I ended up paying this $20, which is a little bit, it actually was, originally it was $40 but I ended up paying it 20. I know it's a little bit on the higher end when it comes to thrifting, but I thought it was so well worth it for the size and the condition that it was in. I thought it works perfectly in my home, so I'm super happy I ended up getting this. For my next piece, I'm not sure if you'd remember me saying that I am not a big reader, but I still love to go in the book section because I think you can find some really cool books for your coffee tables, your end tables. In one of my videos, you saw that I bought a book not even knowing what it was and you had told me that it was a classic. It was The Great Gat Gat Gatsby, I can't even say it, The Great Gatsby. And um, that, I, I mean, I was so happy that I just had found the book and you guys like were like, okay, Katza, this is a really good book. This is like a classic. I was just happy of how it looked visually. But I told you that when you see a book, not only is it interesting for, you know, the topic and what it's about, but also looking underneath the cover. And the next book that I'm going to show you is a perfect example of what treasure you can find underneath the cover. So first off, it was this book. I was drawn to this book because I had actually someone tell me, and I'm not sure if you guys believe in this, but in reincarnation, in past lives, someone had mentioned to me that my spirit guide was a shaman. I was an Indian in a past life, in one of my past lives. So I thought just the book itself was really interesting. So I was drawn to it. And then when I opened it, I looked underneath the cover. Oh my gosh. Look at this book. How beautiful is the cover of this? I not only was interested in the book, but this cover was exceptional to me. I thought it was the perfect book. If you saw it in my last video, I put it on my side table in my bedroom. I mean, look at this, the detailing, the gold, the color of it so good. I am so happy. I actually ended up paying this $5.99. Not only do I get to look at it and read it, I get to enjoy the beauty of it. So this was a treasure find for me. Moving on to my next piece. This was definitely not a piece that I was planning on getting, but when I saw it, I knew I had to get it because a piece like this is rare to find. And when you find it, you got to grab it. So it is this awesome wicker Fan, and it was just so perfect. I think no matter where I put it, I actually planned on putting it downstairs in that little nook area that I had told you guys about, but it just did not go. So I know even if it doesn't fit there, I'm going to find a place for it. In my home, we have three floors, so there's going to be a wall that's going to 
be happy to have this on it. I end up paying this $25, which is still good. I know it's a little on the higher end, but I'm still happy, uh, even if it was a little bit, I'm not saying pricey, but it was just a little bit more than I thought, but I'm still happy I got it. For my last piece, I think that I saved the best for last. It is too big for me to hold it, but I'm definitely gonna insert clips for you guys so you can see it. I actually ended up finding this one in that antique vintage store. And when I saw it, I had those, you know, MLG heart eyes come out of my head. It was just so gorgeous. I fell in love with the shape of it, the color. The cushion on the top is a little bit ruined, so I might reupholster it or either get it cleaned. But I am so happy about this chair. I ended up paying this chair $39, which is so good. I wish that there was actually two. If there was two, I would have been even more happy. I could have put them as a pair somewhere in the living room or I don't know. But anyway, I'm still happy that I found at least one. I'm thinking, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but I'm going to find a place for it. So that is pretty much everything that I got in my haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. It means the world to me. And I know I keep saying it, but it does. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you always. Have an amazing day. Mwah.